So I love vanilla chai lattes, but they have like 45 grams of sugar and saturated fat and almost 300 calories for like the small one. So this is something that I make that replaces the chai latte and it only has like 72 calories and it has no saturated fat and seven grams of sugar, seven and a half from the agave nectar. And this is something that I love. It's delicious. It's like a hug in a mug. It's warm and it's so good. So you need agave nectar, organic agave in the raw nectar. That's going to be your sweetener and you're just going to use a little bit. You need unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Make sure it's unsweetened. And then you need vanilla chai tea bags. Now I'm using three tea bags right now because I'm making two mugs of this. I'm making one for my daughter who's homesick today and she wants a warm drink and this is going to be perfect for her. And at the end, I'm going to show you what I do to make it extra special. It's a simple step that just gives it that little extra oomph as if you just got it at a coffee house with the frothed milk on top. Let's get started. I'm just going to put my little saucepan on and I am going to get a mug to measure out enough almond milk for two cups. Okay. So that's one. And then for her, I'm going to use a smaller mug. She doesn't usually drink the whole thing when I make her tea or anything. All right, so we have the almond milk. Now, the next step is to put in the tea bags. So I have three tea bags here. And I'm going to cut off, I'm going to cut off the string and the sign because I'm going to simmer these. You don't want to let this boil hard boiling because it'll break the tea bag open and you'll have tea everywhere. So you can start it off on a high flame just to hurry up and get it warmed up, but then you wanna turn it down to low and let it simmer on low for a few minutes so that you don't rip the tea bags open, but you're able to steep those delicious vanilla chai flavors into the almond milk. And I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of the agave in the raw, agave nectar. So I'm just gonna, hold on, let me, I'm gonna move this over and just put about a tablespoon in there, just like that. Just give it a stir. You wanna dissolve the agave. I'm gonna get my wooden spoon. There we go. So you're just gonna give this a stir. Get the agave melted in there. This smells so good already. And something that I like to do is I take my stick blender, once it's done simmering, I take the tea bags out and then I froth it up with the stick blender, like as if you were like at a coffee house or something and they froth the milk for your cappuccino, just like that. So I froth the almond milk up with the stick blender and it's just like an extra little step that adds so much to the cup of warm chai almond milk latte. It just makes it feel like you're eating, I mean, drinking something that's way more indulgent than it actually is. Sometimes those little things make a big difference. So I'm gonna let this come up to a simmer. And then once it's done simmering, I'll show you how I froth it up and get it in the cup. See you soon. Okay, so this is simmering nicely. It's nice and hot. So now I'm gonna take out the three tea bags and I'm gonna go froth it up with the stick blender. All right, get 
this out of here. And you can see the almond milk has a nice mocha coffee cappuccino color. Super yum. Okay, let's pour it in the cup. Get the rest of that out of there. If you like a little extra vanilla, you can take your vanilla and just put a half a teaspoon of vanilla in there. Delicious. I'm actually doing that to mine. Sweetie, do you want a little extra vanilla in yours? Yeah? Okay. So, just a little bit like that, mix it in, mm -mm -mm. delicious. All right, now we are going to enjoy our little treat. So you can have yourself a yummy treat that's healthy but you feel like you're having something indulgent and delicious. So it's like you're drinking this and it's like a warm hug in a mug. Thanks for watching.